traders from around the globe what's going on it's your boy rookie cat and back again with another real life stock review with real life trading australia good morning good afternoon good evening to you all i hope you guys have had or are having an amazing tuesday maybe it's wednesday where you are who knows I hope you are having an absolutely phenomenal week. Uh, let's take a look at the markets. The SPY, um, there, was a, there was a fair bit of action last night, a lot of bearish news, especially after the Trump, the news about the Trump impeachment. Um, and basically the market slowly started to fall uh, and we did get a very nice bearish engulfing candle today. So if you take a look at the SPY, we realistically, if you take a look at the five minute, uh, I'll just go back to the start of the day here. As soon as we broke these lows, guys, right here, we did have very nice bullish volume at the start of the day right here. And we did start to close below. And as you see, we did close below. We come up, we retested. Beautiful evening star reversal pattern. And that was basically your signal to take a bearish trade. And if you all know how I trade on a day trade, it came straight to the VWAP and retested and went straight down lower. So guys, this was an absolutely amazing trade. Um, if you did get to play it, I know a lot of people did and a lot of real life traders, very profitable this morning. Um, so the SPY did fall lower, uh, but we did start to pick up and find a little bit more support as we came back down to this 295 level. If you take a look at the daily. Uh, that was realistically just off this gap right here, this retest gap. And we really just came back down here. We did chop around a little bit. We have got a very nice support level here. So, I mean, this could potentially be a double top and this is the retest to go lower. Who knows if that is the case, I'll be looking for a bearish play uh, tomorrow. Um, but most of all guys, I mean, obviously with news events, when they do happen, the market tends to happen fairly quickly and generally recovers just as quick. So keep your eyes peeled on that one. Here's the e-minis and you can see we are just resting in the afternoon session. Not a whole lot going on here, guys. Um, if we do come down, um, a little bit lower, just expect us probably to come down to at least the 100 and maybe chop around here for a little while longer. Here's the Dow Jones, the DIA, the diamonds. Uh, we did we did gap up just like the rest of the market. We did gap up, retest gap, and just faded the whole day. Same thing, guys. Look on the look on the five minute. We did basically just sell off and break down fairly nicely. A lot of little flag patterns here. You know, a lot of flag patterns here, guys, just to to basically take your day trades lower. A um, lot of signals and I hope you all got to catch them. Here's Amazon, ticker symbol AMZN and very interesting, we did close below the 200. Now I did state back here somewhere, I did say we're probably gonna chop around here for a, another month or so. Um, we are doing that, we have been doing that. Uh, whether or not we are going to, I did say we'd probably stay between the 100 and the 200 and just chop around here. We've closed below the 200. Um, so from here, we are at a previous level of support and resistance here. So if we do bounce here, I wouldn't be surprised. Um, but also we can potentially go lower. Obviously, we do have this support level here. And then below that, guys, is not until 1600. So um, at this point, I'm just fairly neutral, guys. I'm only trading what I see. Um, don't have a don't have a huge bias on the overall markets. Fairly fairly neutral at the moment. Let's take a look at SQ. Um, very interesting about SQ. One of the one of the uh, one of the main tech stocks that actually one of the only tech stocks that really closed bullish. Um, with some beautiful volume. Oh, wow. Look at that. Now, I mean, this is this is a huge, huge high wave candle here. Um, and if you take a look at the five minute, I do not know what actually happened. It happened very, very quickly. We sold off at least, you know, two points, um, 
two points in about 10 minutes. And then as you can see, we just got bought straight back up, came back down, retest, and then slowly grinded higher. So, I mean, guys, SQ coming down to this price level is a very nice level to buy. Um, I'd just keep your eyes on, on SQ to slowly, slowly build this level of support and continue to, uh, and turn around and soon grind higher. That's my thoughts on SQ. Um, here's Apple. Apple not looking super bullish. Still at this resistance level up here, guys. Um, struggling to break it. And yeah, most likely we will come back down to test the top of this, this wedge here. So we'll see, guys. Most likely we are going to trade a little bit lower and maybe down to 212. Bounce off this nice little double bottom neckline and hopefully continue higher. Here's Tesla. Now, if you have been following my reviews the last couple of months, um, you would have you would have known to sell up here. Um, I did mention down here that we are looking to bounce and our target is going to be this particular candle right here. So if you did take your profits, I'm sure you were in this big bearish sell-off right here. Um, well done to you guys. A lot of people making some money on Tesla today. Um, Shout out to the real real life trading team. And uh yeah, Tesla, I mean, we're we're going back lower, which is amazing because if you did not buy the dip here and take advantage of this beautiful bullish move, then you're gonna get another go. Huge volume, beautiful candle, and that's all I have to say about Tesla. Get it another try, guys. This is awesome. Let's take a look at Roku now. On Thursday last week, this was the candle I was speaking about. I said, guys, get ready for a Roku to go lower. I did say we'd probably come down to about 100. Um, well, I drew it on the chart. I said most likely we would come down to about here, around the 100 area. And we did slowly start to bounce. Um, this is not going to be the last time um, that it's going to be here, guys. Most likely, if we do bounce here, I do expect us to kind of create a nice little double bottom and let this 200 moving average come into play. It has not bounced off the 200 since back in April. So um, it does need to consolidate here, guys. So if you are looking at buying Roku, you could probably wait and you could probably wait about a month, I'd say, on Roku. But definitely well done to all you who did catch this bearish play. Let's take a look at the All Lords. All Lords, beautiful little evening star reversal off the all previous, well, not the previous, the, the previous, previous all-time high. Um, I should probably change this line. But, um, yep, little, small little evening star reversal. Still in a bullish, still in a bullish trend here, guys. Um, just look to buy the dip. Obviously, if we do come back down to the 100, it is going to be a buy the dip um, event. So, Keep your eyes peeled, guys. If it does, if the market does continue lower, um, get more excited. Here's CBA and nice little retest gap down today with the other bearish news on the market. So obviously, I did say last time that they, if you are looking to sell some options, you know, up around 84, 83, 84, that would have been very nice. So if you did get a chance to sell some premium, you probably still can. Um, if you are if you are in some covered calls or you know some long term positions, um, this is definitely a nice level to start selling some options, guys. You know, buy low, sell high. This is definitely a high level where we have sold off before. So, um, I hope you guys are taking advantage of that. Let's take a look at Telstra. We have not had a look at this one for a while now, and we really did not hit our target. So my target is actually 427. Very, very long-term target here, guys. Um, that's just based off based off these highs up here. Um, obviously, the 200 did come into play a lot sooner. So we obviously were going to reject that. Um, and right now, we are just chilling between the 100 and the 200 on the daily chart, finding a nice level of support. But we are slowly flattening here with the 100. So I do expect us probably to consolidate here for a little while, guys. It's going to be a very slow stock um, as Telstra is, the big T. Um, so if you are in Telstra, guys, just be very, very patient. Look to buy as low as you can. This is a very nice buy the dip opportunity. Let's take a look at BHP and another gap down, guys. Wow, we're getting some more opportunities here to buy low here on BHP. If you didn't buy here, 
we are getting another opportunity, guys. So make sure you take advantage of this. We are getting some nice bullish volume. This is a very, very strong company long term. Uh, we all know this. I did say that most likely we will consolidate here for some time. It just makes the most sense, guys, um, just because we have not been here for a while. And uh, we did come up fairly, fairly quickly. So we are just going to rest here for quite some time. Let's take a look at Woodside Petroleum, WPL. Now, I wish I looked at this sooner um, because we did form some very, very nice, very nice coiling action right here. Um, and we kind of just faked out here. We did, we did break higher and then we are now breaking lower. So from here, guys, we are still in a very nice bullish trend. As you can see, these, uh, here is the lower trend line and we are staying above that. It is a buy low, sell high location, guys. As you can see, we have been up around 38, around 40 in the last, in the last 12 months. Um, and this is not a bad buying location, to be honest. Um, so if you are looking to pick up some shares, make sure you mitigate your risk here, guys. And um, yeah, so that uh, Woodside Petroleum, very, very nice. I might actually look at this myself. So very, very nice. This was a gap and go. Okay, guys, this, this, this gap here, this red candle gapping up, did it did fade straight out the gate. Um, and now we are just slowly filling that gap. But if we do come back down to 31, get your figure, finger on the trigger, guys. It will be a very nice time to buy. And let's take a look at APT today. Now, APT, I have said, do not be bearish on this company. Be bullish, buy the dip, and so on. Um, I've been talking about this pretty much every review in the last few months or every second or third review. Um, I have said that most... You know, if you are looking to buy, just look to buy as low as you can, buy the dips. Um, so if you were one to buy down here, well done. You guys are super profitable. And today we just got an absolute amazing gap and go of the ages. A um, lot of people getting trapped from the last two days. And look at that volume, guys, right here. Huge volume, huge candle and uh, most likely will continue. So, I mean, I'm not going to be looking to buy here. We'll always look to buy the dip, um, but definitely, definitely in an amazing trend. Let's take a look at some commodities, guys. Here's US oil or crude oil. Um, I, did mention, I did mention back here on this candle right there, on that green candle, I said, yep, we're going lower. Get ready for it, guys. And we did. We're crushing it. We're back down at the 100 and 200 simple moving average on the daily. Um, we're gonna kind of see how how we go here, guys. We are at a we are at a previous level of resistance right here. Um, so and we do have the 100 and 200 simple moving average here. So if we bounce here, would not be surprised. Um, however, if we do crush lower and we just fall off a cliff and come back down to 51 or 53. Guys, you, 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 really, you really want to be looking at buying there. Um, you really want to be thinking long-term here, guys, because, I mean, everyone's driving cars. Everyone needs oil. Everyone needs fuel. It's not, it's not leaving just yet. I don't think there's a better alternative, well, that's, that everyone has kind of got access to. Not everyone's got Tesla cars and all that sort of stuff. So U.S. oil... Well, crude oil is definitely, definitely going to be a dip buying opportunity if we do come lower. Let's take a look at gold. And I did say that most likely we would come down to the 618. However, if we did bounce off the 382, which we have, uh, then that would, that would not also surprise me in the least either. So I personally did miss this move because I was waiting for it to go bearish. Um, and right now, Looking fairly, fairly neutral, to be honest. Uh, we are, you know, forming this nice little inverted, ugly head and shoulders pattern. Um, kind of see how we are. We did, we did have this double top and now we are retesting. Is this the retest of the neckline? Who knows? Beautiful pattern. And that's what this whole game is about, guys. You basically just want to be able to identify patterns, execute uh, without emotion and just you know, take the trade, whatever looks good 
and this is looking fairly neutral so i'm going to stay well away from it for now um, let's take a look at the aussie dollar and if you did jump on this short with me guys well done to you um, we did come straight back down to this level of support here at 67.50 uh, and right now we have got you know tapering off volume so not overly bullish most likely we are just going to chop around here sideways for a little while um, and just consolidate here before we do go lower but that's all i've got for you today guys hope you enjoyed this review um i did get a comment saying that they that they uh love the that they love the black background so i'm going to keep it for a while here guys anyway uh if you want me to review any stocks on thursday leave it in the comment section below i'll be back then until then love life live life and trade it i'll see you soon bye